Welcome back everybody. In today's episode we're going to find out if the ISF is a good family car because we're going to answer the question of will it baby? You have one kid, two kids, if you have three kids in, a, uh, in these type of car seats you probably shouldn't get this car. But um, let me go ahead and do a couple uh, scenarios whether you have uh, forward facing or rear facing seats for your children and whether you think that this car will have enough room for yourself as well as room for your kids to have any sort of leg room. So let me switch this camera around and we'll go ahead and try a couple different combinations to see if this uh, ISF can baby or not. Okay, so for this video, these are the type of Graco seats that I am using. Um, this is for forward facing and this is for rearward facing. Um, I'm sure there are smaller versions, but these are just the ones that uh, my family uses. Mainly these are going in my wife's SUV and uh, only are used in my car sometimes. So let's see how they work and fit. So the way this is uh, set up is for you know one kid, um, probably a very young um, child, I don't know, under two years old or so, facing rearward. And um, this is what it would look like in there. There's still a little room in the front. This is not at full. This is not, um, the seat is not fully uh, to, the fr to the front, nor is it reclined all the way to the top. So there is a little bit of room left. Um, you can kind of see where my driving position is. I'm about six feet tall. So if you have somebody that's shorter in the passenger seat, you should be okay with just one kid facing backwards. Now your kid's a little bit older and they can start facing uh, front ways. This is the seat in the same position it was for the rear facing seat. So not all the way to the front and somewhat reclined in the back, but as you can tell, um, you know, a little bit of room for the toddler, though um, I don't have any foot marks, but you would definitely see some foot marks here from your kid because they can easily reach that front seat. So that's what it looks like with just one forward facing seat and the type of seating position the front person would have to be in. They could probably move it back some, but you might get a little uh, massage back there. Now, if you're like me and have two kids, this is uh, how the seating position would be for my younger uh, child. Um, hasn't moved from the front, so that would work there. And then this is where my seat is with nobody in the back. This is where my older child would be. Notice they would not have very much leg room. So like I said, I'm at six feet tall. I definitely have to move up and um, you know, give, give them some room to move their feet because I could not see that being very comfortable at all for extended periods of time for them or yourself. So that's definitely stretching it. Now this setup would be the most favorable for this car. If your kids are big enough, old enough, uh, to be both in forward facing uh, child seats, there can be uh, decent enough room. You know, I moved the seat back here. This is not my optimal driving seating position, but it's good enough. And uh, I could, uh, you know, bear it for a couple hours if I needed to, but there is enough room um, for both of them. Um, you know, not a huge amount, but I don't think anybody's going to be, you know, wincing in pain or uh, lose any circulation of blood to any extremities with this setup. Okay, and here is how it's going to be if you have two kids, you know, that have to be in rear facing seats. So it does look like, you know, it might be a little cramped for them, but I'm about six feet tall. So let's see how cramped it is for me as the driver, because I had to move this seat very much forward. All right, so this would be my driving position. Like I said, six feet tall, um, knees are pretty close to the dash, but it is doable. So I would say, yes, this car can baby with the worst possible arrangement for child seats in the back. All right, so just to wrap up this video, will the ISF baby? I would say yes, it definitely will baby for me and my family and uh, our sizes. Um, it is a uh, one of the, it is actually one of the reasons why I bought this car because I needed a car that I could put both my kids in the back seats uh, semi comfortably and uh, have a little fun at the racetrack with. So this met the criteria criteria. So. 
that's one of the reasons why I'm sitting here talking to you about it. And um, just to wrap up, if you have one kid, then you have the most flexibility of where you want to seat them. Front facing, pretty good. Uh, you know, the, the front passenger does not have to move back too, uh, move forward too far. If they're in uh, rearward facing, then they're gonna have to move a little bit. If they're not too tall or they don't require too much room, then they should be fine. If you have two kids and they're both forward facing, then that is the optimal seating position for two of them. And, um, you know, not my ideal driving position, but still um, doable, could do it for a couple hours, do a long road trip. Now, if they're both rear facing, that is the worst possible uh, seating, I think, arrangement you could have in this car because both the passenger and the driver's seat have to be moved up uh, pretty far. And I would not want to drive like that for a, an extended period of time. So it's okay for around town or if you need to do it in a pinch, but I do not uh, recommend it. So, uh, you know, aside from that seating arrangement, if your kids are a little older and you can flip those seats forward, do it because this car will baby. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please subscribe and I will get you more content as I can think of things that uh, this car does or just more race video. So thanks again.